the techniques that you have been learning all these days through C language. Do they really hold good even when we use a programming language like Java? Let's explore. Let's consider the basic if-else construct in C language. This is the one. We will consider the same if-else control construct in a programming language like Java. This is the one. If you notice both of them, they are absolutely the same. Now, I would like to include statements into the if block and the else block. I would do it using the printf in C language. I would include hello ABCN as well as hello Spider-Man in C language. I would like to do the same even in Java. But in Java, I would not be able to use printf. Then what do I use? You can use a host of other facilities that are there in Java. I would be making use of system.out.printf. So using system.out.printf, I would put a statement in the if block. I would also put another statement in the else block. I know some of you are confused if we can use printf in Java. Certainly we can use. Maybe some of you didn't know the existence of printf even in Java. In fact, you have to introspect how much of Java you really know. Nevertheless, we can certainly have printf even in Java the way we have done it. Well, if you ask me, are the programs complete? Certainly no. In C language, I will have to enclose it within the main and also include the header file like this. Whereas in Java, I cannot be just putting it in a main and including a header file because it's a different programming language. So I will have to enclose it within something called as the public static void main this way. Not just that, I will also have to enclose this within a class this way. I know there are a lot of doubts already there at the back of a few viewers' mind as to why public static. What is a class? Certainly, I would love to explain each one of it, but this video certainly is not meant for that. You can look out for some such thing in my future videos. Now, the basic issue is that I want to execute the statements that are there in both the if block as well as the else block in both the programming languages. So as normal, I would remove the statement which is there in the if block. Put it as a part of the if condition. Same thing is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to remove the statement from the if block and make it a part of the if condition. Well, you know, there is a semicolon. So I will have to select the semicolon and delete it. I'll do the same here. I would select the semicolon and delete it. And you know very well, if I have to execute both the if and the else part, I will have to include a not symbol as well. So, I'll include a not in C. I'll do the same even in Java. Now the programs are complete and hence I would be able to execute them. When I'll execute the C program, this is the output. We are successful in executing it. And now I'll try executing the Java program and oh, we are getting an error. The error is not because our technique has failed. The error is because we cannot use the not symbol the way we have used it here in Java. Why we cannot use the not symbol? If I really have to explain, then I'll have to speak about the input output in Java, which will pull me to the concept of streams. You can expect those concepts maybe moving forward. But as of now, just remember this one thing that I would select the not, delete it, and I would replace it with equal to null. I know some of you are again confused that how is it that this works? As I have told, the scope of this video doesn't permit me to explain all the new things that you have encountered in this new programming language. But does it work when I'll execute? Yes, when I'll execute, I am getting the required output. So getting back to the basic question that the techniques that I have taught you in all my previous videos can they be incorporated in a new programming language like Java? 
certainly you can incorporate. Just that the new programming language would have a different set of rules and you will have to slightly modify whatever I have taught with respect to that new programming languages' rules. So, the steps that you need to follow so that the technique works in Java are firstly, remove the statement which is in the if block and make it as a part of the if condition. Secondly, remove the semicolon which is there in the if condition. And finally, don't use the NOT symbol. Instead, you should be using equal to NULL in the IF condition. Provided you make these changes, certainly the technique would work very well in Java as well. There are many new things that you have seen in this video and maybe in my upcoming videos, I would try explaining those new concepts as well.